Hi everyone, it's Prasithia with Cacti on White and welcome to my channel. Today I have a quick unboxing. Um, I placed an order from an Etsy seller. Uh, the seller is Rare Succulents. Um, it's a plant that I've wanted for a while and I finally decided to go ahead and pick it up. It was delivered today. Um, so I just picked it up from the mailbox and I'm going to do a quick unboxing. So I'm hoping that um, it looks pretty good, or looks good. Um, it was a pretty a quick shipping, I would think. So I'm going to, I've already started unboxing it here, as you can see, it was nice, it's nicely packaged. It had this in the top. And I've already started to make this a little quicker, I've already put soil in here and I have some excess soil to the side if I need to, to finish off potting it up. This is a um, pretty fast draining um, mix here. I, I'm gonna throw that out, but um, I've added a little worm casting to it. I have my rocks here. I think I'm gonna top dress it with these rocks. So let's get right into it. Okay, um, a little thank you note was included in the box. So as you can see, Rare Succulent, there's the Instagram um, website and Etsy store information. So really cute thank you card. Um, also my invoice, which I've concealed, you know, personal information and address and things like that. So you can see it's a um, considered a Rare Succulent. Seningia leucotrinca. I'm sure I butchered that, but Seningia. All right, so let's get this baby unboxed. So here she is, a cotton ball. No, <laughs> I've torn the paper off and it's nicely, let me move this box out of the way. Sorry for the reflective lighting here but it's in it's a tiny little beauty but it's in uh, the cotton here to protect it for ship uh, during shipment and there she is wow it's so cute probably could have went with a smaller pot actually um, but you can see that the leaves are really nice and they have like a soft hair um, on them it's super softly so let me see if i can if i can get this to focus for you guys let's see it's gonna be difficult there we go so you can see how furry the leaves are isn't that gorgeous it's a little codex um, and it'll, you know, once it settles in, it'll be fine. So I think I'm going to go get a smaller pot, actually. I think this pot is too large for this plant. So I don't want to overpot it with all this soil. So I have some little Le Creuset um, pots that I bought uh, about a month or so ago from Le Creuset. I love Le Creuset. Um, so I will go and get one of those and use that for this little guy. But look how pretty it is. Look at that. And it produces a really nice flower. Um, but I'm excited about this little guy. So I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have gotten a, and this is a probably four inch pot. It does have drainage. Again, it's, uh, I got, I picked up four or five of these. Actually, it's probably about two, two and a half months ago um, from Le Creuset. They come with a uh, saucer. They're actually herb planters, but you know, I, they definitely will work for any plant, obviously. But uh, I really like the brand and for spring, they usually come out, um, they bring out their herb planter. So I picked up four or five, I think, white ones. 
So I've, I've gone ahead and uh, put the soil in here. This guy's small, um, had, some, had some roots already, um, but here, here it is here, and I've gotten all the, the cotton fibers off of it, so it's clean. And the little cute codex here. You can see the little roots coming out. So I've rested her right on the soil. I'm gonna put a little bit more soil around the base of the codex, and then I'm going to go ahead and top dress it. So cute, I'm excited about it. Wanted one of these for a while. This is so cute. It's just like a stuffed, fuzzy, stuffed animal. It's just totally adorable. Do you guys have one of these? If you have one of these, um, drop a comment down below and give me some hints or tips on care. What you, what are you doing? What's working well? Um, what maybe hasn't worked well? Would love to know. So share in the comments down below. All right, guys. Here's my brand new Seningia, all potted up nicely. And I've chopped, dressed it with some rocks and definitely want to see that tuber. I think it looks great. It probably will be in this planter for a while, um, but I think it looks really, really good. And I pulled out my laptop so I can show you guys um, how it looks with the flower. So this is my laptop here. So I guess a common name for it is Brazilian elder weiss or wise, elder wise. Edelweiss, Brazilian Edelweiss. All right. Um, so here it is. This is how it looks in flower. Isn't that gorgeous? I can't wait for it to grow up, but I can wait because I want to enjoy uh, the process. But I was reading here, it has similar care. Um, they're saying, here's here it is. Look at that big codex right there. Look how big that is. That's This is going to be super nice. But it has similar care to, it says here, to the African violet. They have the same light requirements as an African violet. Morning or soft, late afternoon light is best. Um, when they're in leaf, they like uh, to stay moist, uh, damp, you know, damp. Um, obviously, they don't want to sit in, they don't sit in water. We want to avoid that. So when they're not in leaf, you just want to, according to this, mist it. So yeah, super excited about it. I probably will. I, I went and got some, uh, my little water sprayer here and I'm going to just uh, do a little misting here. Not a lot, because it's traveled and I uh, don't, don't want to overdo it. But, and I'm gonna try to uh, obviously avoid the leaves. That should be nice for it. All right, so I'm done. Here is my um, little uh, considered rare succulent. It is, again, the Seningua leucotrica, Brazilian Edelweiss, or Edelweiss is easier, obviously. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, this unboxing and potting all in one. Um, I'm going to add this to my Codex uh, playlist. Um, yeah, so if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, drop a comment down below and let me know what you think about this beauty. I love it. Um, check out my membership if you haven't done that as well. I have three tiers. Um, and uh, if you want to receive some extra content by being a member, you will definitely get that and some fun surprises and giveaways I'm planning. So you don't want to miss out on that. So consider um, joining one of the membership tiers. I'll share my videos. That really helps me out. Um, turn on the post notifications so, so you won't miss when I upload new content because uh, you never know. And I try to be pretty regular with my uploads um, and consistent. So hopefully you guys that are subscribed and even if you're not subscribed and watching, um, thank you and I hope you're enjoying the channel. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and close out now. I hope you guys have a great evening, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.